Hello and welcome to session 1 of marketing fundamentals. To become a better digital marketer, it is essential to understand basics of marketing. In this session, I will introduce you to core concepts of marketing. At many points throughout this digital marketing course, I will refer to these concepts. Hence, make sure you absorb these concepts well. So without further ado, Let's dive into it. Before we understand what is marketing, let's first clear out what marketing is not. Let me start with a personal anecdote here. When I started my career seven years ago as a beginner in marketing, I had this naive notion that marketing is just advertising. As I started exploring learning and understanding more about marketing i realized that mark that advertising is one part of marketing it's just one part there are many other things that makes marketing to put it simply though advertising is marketing marketing is not just advertising so what is marketing Let's read through the definition on this slide. Marketing is the process of getting people interested in your company's product or service. This happens through market research, analysis and understanding your ideal customer's interest. Marketing pertains to all aspects of business including product development, distribution methods, sales and advertising. This definition will help you to understand that marketing is a critical business function making its presence felt across whole business cycle even creating product and service involves marketing as a business you want to create something that people will buy enabling you to make profits and in order to create something valuable you need to understand what people want and need this is the reason understanding human psychology is one of the most important aspects of marketing let's look at very basic and simple concept of human behavior which also becomes a foundation of marketing needs wants and demand throughout the human history we have progressed because we were always in search of things which will make our lives better and great had we stopped after getting our basic needs fulfilled we would have never innovated so here is an example water can very well quench my thirst but i desire beer as i like the taste of it there are many people like me who desire beer and have ability to pay This is what creates a demand for any specific product. Any business who wants to make profit tries to create and sell products or service which will fulfill people's needs and wants. Marketer's job is to convey the value of product or service to consumers which enables demand and sale. I hope you understood this concept. but the world is diverse and every human being has a different needs as well as income to fulfill them everyone has a different pain capacity so in this next another framework which is called marketing mix or four p's of marketing will understand how companies then create products and take them to the market where demands are different and paying capacity is also different as the marketing mix projects it starts with creating right product or service this is where most of the time of business goes in at the beginning you need to understand the market you want to create a product which will perfectly fit to market's demand 
once you create a product which has all the features and quality to meet the standard created by that market you move on to defining the price again here as well lot many things involved you want to know what sort of pricing strategy will work for this specific market so there is a whole lot science goes behind deciding the right price for the product now you have decided what you want to sell you decided how much cost you want to sell it at then you decide the place what is the most appropriate place where i can put this product so people will able to buy it and this is where your location inventory transport comes into the picture once you have all this sorted out you move on to deciding how you will promote this product and this is where all the advertising pr and all sorts of advertising channels come into picture now this has been a model for last 30 40 years used by businesses it has evolved a lot as well but the basics of it has remained intact i would also like to give an example here for four p's of marketing and i had chosen apple's example now this was the first iphone that apple released back then so when steve job thought of this product he thought of it as a phone which has all the ability of calling it has ability to play music and it can also connect with internet so it was very innovative product they decided the price point which was slightly higher than what was available in the market back then they decided the place through which they will sell this product and for promotion they created different ads which are discussed even today those were very impactful ads now you may ask me that okay the demand was not there i mean no one was really looking for a phone i mean no one even knew that you can have a phone which will have music playing ability which can connect with internet and it's also phone as well but then steve jobs went ahead apple went ahead and invented this thing because they gauged the human behavior correctly no one would want to carry three different devices to do things and they combined and innovated a lot and this is how they came up with iphone now in this particular sense marketing actually started the day they thought that phone can have all these things so this is another very good example of marketing mix in study material you will find some useful links to know more about all the concepts covered in this session i am going to put some more case studies as well in the next session we will look into some more marketing models which will help greatly in creating better digital marketing strategy and they will help you to understand marketing in depth as well so till then have a great time see you in the next session thank you